how to add a PayPal button on your Google sites. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you how we can actually add that uh, PayPal button to our Google sites. Now, it's actually very simple and easy to do, so let's just go ahead and get to it. Uh, open up this site that you actually want to add the button to and just keep it open. Uh, we are just going to get back to this once we are done from PayPal. So just go ahead and open up a new tab and just go for paypal.com. From here, you would want to basically, basically just click on login and log into your account. So I'm just going to log into my account and we are just going to get back to you once that's done. Okay, so once you log into your Shopify account, you basically want to head over to settings on the top right. And once you click on that, it's just going to open up the settings for you, as you can see. And we just want to locate the seller tools option. Now, it could be different from where you actually find it. Uh, for me, I find it right here. But for you, it may actually be different depending on when you're actually watching this because PayPal tends to update quite a lot. Anyways, um, click on seller tools. And here you will have plenty of stuff to work with, uh, as you can see here. But we want basically the selling online option and we want to find the PayPal buttons so just go ahead and click on paypal buttons which is going to basically allow us to set up uh, one of those buttons and we can just you know use it on our google sites on or really any other site uh, so you have these to choose from we have pay links and buttons buy now at cart donate smart subscribe or subscribe even uh, and there are more buttons com will coming soon as well uh, so just go ahead and select whichever one that you actually want. So feel free to choose whichever one. I'm just going to use buy now, for example. But if you want to have the donate one, it's also going to work the same way. Uh, so just go ahead and click on whichever button that you actually want. And then here we have a few settings that we can actually set up. So here we can allow my customers to enter their own product price. Um, if you want to have that, it's completely up to you. Or allow my customers to enter their own product uh, quantity, which I'm going to actually allow. Product name, you can just go ahead and add anything here. Obviously, it's going if it's a product, you would want to legit add these information um, items. But I'm just going to do test price in US dollars. I'm just going to do 200. And then uh, for some reason, and then we have product ID if you want to add that as well. Here is going to be the button's appearance. So if you want to also adjust that, it's going to look like that in the preview down below. So just go ahead and select however you actually want it to look like. I'm just going to leave it as it is there. Uh, and then we also have the button text. So whether it's going to be pay now or buy now. Obviously, you would want to go for buy now, but it is com completely co uh, up to you. Uh, country and language, you would want to obviously select that properly. Uh, and also, if you want to show the um, card, accepted card logos, you can feel free to do so. So anyways, you can also have more stuff here like optional tracking and also more settings like sh uh, ta tax, shipping and more. But I'm just going to leave it as it is and click on save and create button. Once that's done, we are just going to take this generated code, copy it. And then we just want to exit out of uh, our PayPal. We don't really need it anymore. And we want to just go back to our Google sites where we want to basically embed a code. So you would want to just go to um, insert here. And then you would want to just select embed, which should be at the top here. And you would want to select embed code and paste it right over here. Click on next. You should see it as it is click on insert and then you should have the buy now button move it where you wherever you actually want and you can just go ahead and you know make it proper here and make it in the middle which is actually quite a, like it's actually quite small here which i believe if we just go ahead and click on edit here i believe you can also change the height and width here if i'm not mistaken uh, you may want to actually dig deep into that and see how it, how it works. But this is pretty much it. It's actually going to be completely uh, functional and everything. So, yeah, this is pretty much how to add the PayPal buttons on our Google sites. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful. And thanks for watching.